Hello and welcome back to V1 Pilot Flight Training. Today we'll be covering VOR navigation. So today on a Garmin 1000, uh, what you'll first want to do is uh, tune in your frequency. Right now we have uh, 117.2 active on the right side and it's identified, indicated by the green color of the 117.2. Next you want to do is we have Calton VOR. We want to actually turn the course knob here to fly the needle head to the VOR which will give us a proper course indication because right now our heading is 079 we want to course to the VOR, Calton VOR and if we center, it, center up the course knob, the small knob here on the right uh, course to the VOR with the two flag and a course heading of approximately 080 will take us to Calton VOR. On our PFD, here we have our bearing indicator. We can actually uh, put up Calton VOR and it's showing on Nav 1, 27.6 nautical miles to Calton uh, for that. So we can set up Calton. Uh, also, if you want on Nav 2, which I have 117.7 Deer Park VOR. It's showing 3.6 nautical miles, and we have an indication here uh, for that. But right now, the active frequency is NAV1, and it's uh, we're navigating off of NAV1. What you also want to do is make sure you see the eye knob because you could change from VOR to GPS, which is right now we have Calton for backup, and it's shown 27.6 nautical miles, same as the NAV1, a bearing of 080, but we're navigating today off of VOR1, and it's shown a course of 080, and a heading of approximately 079. I always uh, press the uh, heading uh, button here to center up my current heading so that it's a visual cue as far as what heading I should be holding uh, and we'd be flying a 079 to hold a course of 080. The second portion of this training will involve intercepting radials uh, from Calton VR. Right now the radial 080 course to Calton VOR, it set it up, and if we flew his heading, theoretically, uh, 079, it would take us to Calton, which is 27.6 miles, but say if we want to intercept the 270 uh, radial from uh, Calton, and we're going to use that example, so we're going to go over to the right, to the course knob, and tune in 090. And irrespective of whether we put it 090 or 270, we'll spin it, spin the course knob around uh, to heading of 270. Uh, say if we want to intercept the 270 from Calton, it's still showing the flag 2. Uh, but essentially, any heading on this HSI from a heading of 360 to uh, 090, but we'll use a not as aggressive intercept of 45 degrees. So approximately uh, 050 heading will take us to the course of 270 from Calvin. So a heading of three, uh, 050, and my rule of thumb is if the heading is on the same side, as a CDI, course deviation uh, indicator, it's the safe side. So heading a 050, same size as CDI, will take us to the 270 from Calton VOR. You could try another example. So say if we wanted the uh, 0, 240 course from Calton VR. Essentially, any heading of 
150 to 060 will take us to this course of 240 from Calton. We'll use a 45 degree intercept, so approximately a heading of 100, same side, safe side, will take us to this course of 240. Well, that's it for intercepting VR navigation. I'd like to thank you for joining us today. And you can find out more information and training at v1pilot.com. Thanks.